Guys, we've got mortgage approval. We just got a phone call to say that we do. Now, it's still it's like it's not 100% because you have to get it on an exact house as well, but we've got it in like principle. Whew. Hello, guys. Um, it's actually a few days later now. The last time I was vlogging was when we were getting the house sorted to put it up for sale, and then, God, it was. I think it was probably about a week later it went for up for sale which was friday just gone um literally like the very end of the day i think it was like half five or something they literally just got it done before they went down on friday evening um and then yeah today's tuesday now and yesterday evening the estate agent rang me and said that they would five people interested and they'd got four booked in to view it so we've got so many viewings this week and it's not it's not like just the one oh my god look at that sun the sun's just rising um yeah it's not just the one viewing they're all like separate well two are on saturday morning just apart and he's gonna try fit in most of the rest of the people if there's anyone else interested then um but yeah so a few of them are while i'm at work it's just i just need to make sure i leave the house clean <laughs> before i go and stuff but that's fine um, and yeah it'll be worth it so I'm delighted with that that's so good like literally the first chance they would have had really to book in a viewing was yesterday so that's very very good I think that's kind of the only update I have at the moment but I'll keep in touch or it's just like pull up outside the man is like putting up our sign why could not have happened before I got back just the awkwardness but I managed to get into the house. Now I'm like, the neighbours will definitely know now if they haven't already seen it up, but it makes me scared for the combo. I love our neighbours, they're all really nice. And I just, yeah, it's just awkward though, isn't it? Like, because it just means, yeah, awkward conversation, which I hate. <laughs> anyway, we actually had our first viewing today at 12. Um, the estate agent said it went well and they will put in a bid in the next day if they're going to then we have another one tomorrow which is a bit of a pink because i'm working from home it's at one so i'll just make sure i'm out of the house then obviously i'll take my lunch break i'll have to bring the dogs out as well for a walk and stuff so it's a lot of hassle lugging stuff in and out and like making it look nice and keeping it nice for the day and whatever but anyway what can you do and then we've got i think another three or four viewings on saturday but they're all between 10 and 11, I think. So it's grand. But yeah, that's kind of it. We're actually currently in a bidding war on a house for ourselves to move into, but um, yeah, it's, it's not going that well. It's very high at the moment. It's gone up. How much has it gone up? It's gone up 15 grand. And they just put another bid back in again today. So we're contemplating if we'll keep going or what we'll do. It's an absolute nightmare at the moment. I think my mascara is like all the way under my eyes, but yeah, I can't believe we're signed up. But I'm also terrified because of how hard it is to get the house in Dublin because of all the bloody bidding. But anyway, hopefully there'll be loads of bids in our house and it will make, us easier to make it easier for us to buy somewhere because we'll have more to spend. <laughs> so I thought I would update you now that it's been a while so i think last time i was telling you that we had some viewings over the weekend and stuff and all of them went ahead no offers or anything yet and it's now tuesday but we had two viewings this evening from two different people one it was their one of them it was their second viewing which is a good thing and i think he's the one that um is meant to be putting in an offer tomorrow but i mean unless until it actually happens we won't get our hopes up too much, but fingers crossed he puts in an offer and then that gets the ball rolling. Hey guys, a bit of a house update, but still not a huge one. Now that I'm coming on to update you this time, like, did I update them with the last offer that we got in the house? Um, and I don't think I did. So we got an offer in the house weeks ago now, like quite soon after we had loads of viewings and stuff at the start. Um, when we first put the house up, I think it's probably up about two months, maybe less. Um, 
so yeah things have quietened down but we're still getting viewings like there was one on friday and it went really well she um put in an offer but again it's still not quite what we want so we said no and we're hoping that we'll get a higher offer from her today or tomorrow but who knows she might just be like no it's not worth that um or she might think that now and then in like a week's time be like oh wait there's nothing else up for that amount it is worth it or you know what i mean um these things happen but um yeah so we had an offer a couple of weeks ago and it was quite low like 50 grand under no sorry 45 grand under asking no yeah basically 50 grand nearly under asking so we were like mm, thanks but no thanks and we still had so many viewings at the time as well we don't want to settle like we we would rather like not rush like we like i'm excited to move and i can't wait and stuff but like we're fine do you know what i mean so yeah i also told you the other day that we got our mortgage approval didn't i um so yeah we are kind of ready to go whenever so now i am a bit like i can't wait but we're still not gonna like jump into things and lose a load of money because we know what it's worth and yeah like there's not much on the market around here at the same price at the moment and stuff so i feel like we should be staying where we are on our estate age degrees as well you said leave it another like two months before you even think about putting the price down at all so and then the other offer that we got literally just the other day oh just today today's monday and she viewed on friday and um, was a bit higher than that one 10 grand higher than that one but yeah still not where we want but that she was asking a lot of questions like if appliances are included and stuff like that the first um offers her he wanted all of our appliances as well and like those of them are literally brand new i'm like no <laughs> and like appliances have definitely gone up now as well so if we didn't do them in the house then we'd just be having to buy brand new ones for even more than the ones that we just bought like two years ago so no but well we're including some of them that we're not taking with us like the ones that we're in the house we moved in and stuff but we were planning on leaving them unless we get a bit more money for them i kind of wouldn't complain not having to move them and some of them i'm like hmm i kind of want a different color it's so foolish of me like so stupid i know but like um the washing machine and dryer i'm like i actually love the black i think it's really nice and really different and it suits the vibe in this house because of like what we were going for but i think what I like has changed and what I would want in like our more forever house. I think white ones would suit. Like it's so ridiculous I'm talking about a washing machine and dryer, but <laughs> yeah, but anyway. Um so we'll see about that one, but yeah. So that's kind of where we are. I'm hoping now by later today maybe or tomorrow we hear something else, but nothing nothing big yet but it is great we've got another offer like i know someone who was selling their home recently and they had like a good bit of interest at the start a lot of viewings and then it quietened down for a while and then they had like more and then they got one offer and then there was another offer as well so they're bidding against each other so they ended up getting more than the asking price so i'd love that <laughs> love a little bidding war that'd be ideal but um we'll wait and see what happens fingers crossed I've got positive vibes, like I've got excitement when I think about it, so yeah, I just know it's coming, you know, so I'll keep you guys updated. I wish I was watching this, I wish it was you guys, and then I just skip to the next bit and it's straight away, because <laughs> in my life I'm like, when will that next bit be recorded? <laughs> guys, I'm delighted we've got another offer for Honor House, it's a week later now, we've not had an offer since those two early ones. We've had constant viewings though, like it's been busy every week. We have a few most of the time. Um, it kind of quietened down when we were away, which is weird. It's like they knew we were <laughs> away, but it was great. It suited us um, as we were here, but um, yeah, like been quite enough, but yeah. So it's now near the end of August. We put up the house in April and I kind of felt like it would pick back up when we got back from our honeymoon and wedding and everything and it definitely has like we had a good few viewings like positive ones lately um and then we had an offer that's a lot more decent than the others that we had it's much closer to the asking price for the house so we're hoping if we go back now we'll get a good enough offer but yeah so i'm hoping i feel like this could actually be the one um 
So yeah, I'll keep you updated really. I think we'll probably go back today with a bit higher and say, kind of hope that they'll meet us in the middle. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated anyway. That's good news. Say the greed. Hey guys, my pumpkin mug is back out from, it was up in the attic with the autumn stuff. I don't think I'm gonna bother putting up the autumn wreath and stuff, Bob. I'm busy, I'm busy. Look, I have a hot drink. Ah, 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 ah. You know, it's not much in here when I have a hot drink because he spilled one on me before and I've never forgiven him. No, to be fair, he he actually genuinely knows he's not meant to. He's usually like, um, and then as soon as I'm finished, he like hops on my lap. I'm like, <laughs> um, yeah, it's back out. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm. T there's no point putting stuff out. Like we're we're packing up the house at the moment. We're not moving out till after Halloween. Fingers crossed. The day keeps bloody changing on stuff. We had a date for the first week in November and Connor has the week off before then, like it's midterm. So it would have been handy to have that time off, but yeah, so now we're a bit panicked because they keep putting them back. We had like the 23rd and stuff now thrown around, which is honestly next fucking week, I'm pretty sure. Today's the 16th. I can't. Let me look at my calendar here. That's, oh my God, that's fucking today next week. No, surely not. And the week that they gave us two weeks after that. No, that's... That's ridiculous. They did say two weeks and then we said no, our solicitor said four and then we got something with that date in it and it's just like, oh, I think we emailed back our solicitor and we haven't heard back yet, but surely not. Anyway, it's fine. Guys, I'm in a bit of a panic because I, my laptop broke on Friday and I was like, do you know what? Like, I'm not surprised. I knew it was coming up. Um, it's just bad timing because I obviously can't go buying a laptop now when we're literally going to be drawing down our mortgage in a few weeks. I'll be like, what the fuck? Like, I obviously need to have as much money as I can in savings and stuff. It would be stupid. Um, yeah, I'd rather wait and get a good one because I've had that one so long now. And like, I'd rather get like one with more memory and like spend money on it and save up for one and get one when I can. So yeah, I can use Connor's one, but um yeah <laughs> i yeah mine might be fine like i i put it into a repairs place because i had videos on it that's the real thing i'm worried about i'm not actually worried about the laptop because i've had it for like eight years or something seven or eight years um yeah there's videos on it for this video i don't know if i'll have got them or not but i took some of my camera but some of my phone but anything off my phone I send like probably like once a week or whatever over to my laptop and I always put it onto my external hard drive but for some reason the folders on my laptop just in my downloads folder and then it was only like two days before it broke that I was like adding more videos on for my phone and I was like what the fuck this is bizarre why is it on my laptop well that's a bit strange I wouldn't usually do that it would usually be on my hard drive and I was like god I must move them over and I obviously didn't so then my laptop broke. It's still charging up, but there doesn't seem to be like much. He said he couldn't like hear anything or whatever. It kind of sounded a bit dead. So I don't know if they can even just get that off for me or what, but yeah, I dropped it in. You don't have to pay if they can't fix it. So it's, there's no harm in getting them to look at it. Even if I do want to get a new laptop in the next few months or whatever, I still will at least be able to trade it in working if they can get it working. So I just feel like there's no harm in checking it out. I would love if they could just fix it and then I could have it for the next few months it'd be great but anyway it's not the end of the world I probably won't have a huge amount of time to be doing much editing and much work or whatever anyway like I'll probably just be recording with my camera which thankfully is working perfectly so yeah it's perfect it's just yeah one thing after another at the moment no it's not positive vibes only I'm very I'm literally trying to not let any positive vibes in at the moment because we've a lot going on <laughs> The positive vibes I'm feeling a little bit anxious anyway yeah that's all the updates I've got for you at the moment nothing really house related actually at all someone's coming soon to look at our armchair and hopefully buy it so that we have got one last thing to bring I think we're just going to bring this couch because the one that we want to get is not in stock on Ikea anyway and I don't know if we'll have the money like straight after anyway like when we just moved in so it'd be handy to have this like two-seater one at least i think you can also make it bigger because it's basically this couch but bigger and, and in a different color you can change the um covers yourself as well so i don't know if maybe i'll at least get new covers for it and then if i can get the like bigger bit for it i'm not 100 percent exactly on the size either yet but i want to get like the 
the chase lounge bit that comes out is that correct you know like for like an l-shaped couch but i need to see how big we can make it so we might just be able to buy that section i think you can do you know how loads of ikea stuff is like buildable it looks like it is buildable on their website but i just feel like we probably won't use this armchair anyway we haven't used it here and yeah i just can't really see us using it like i just would rather get like a completely different chair rather than one that kind of matches in i don't know we also have this um which we've god it's so handy it's like foot still so good um we just have this on it so you can have like drinks and stuff in it but um i'll see yeah i don't know we might kind of use this for a bit as like a to make the couch bigger and get a coffee table we'll see i'll play around with it but i just don't feel like we're gonna use the armchair so i put it up on facebook marketplace and adverts and to be honest i put up a few things and people only ever seem to buy off facebook marketplace guys it's gone ah. not me having a mental breakdown about moving out of our house look at the state of me oh, we went for a walk and i just i think i've been holding it in for too long the stress of it and the like emotions of it the people are buying our house like when i call in tomorrow and we just gotta call about it now they want to like measure recruits and stuff and i'm like do i really have to leave the house clean it's not dirty but <laughs> yeah it's just like oh great <laughs> like you're moving in next week anyways but um yeah i don't know i'm just wrecked i'm exhausted at the moment like the last few weeks i'm just drained i'm like i can't get up in the mornings and i'm like falling asleep on the couch so early at night so i think it's just too much like i need to stop being hard myself over but i can't <laughs> Yeah, I'm stressed. But anyway, at least we know roughly when we're moving into our house. We only have like a month, six weeks at most until we get the keys for that when we've moved out of here. So yeah, we basically have like about a week, just over a week until we should move into this house. But yeah, I'm just getting emotional about it. Like it's our first house and stuff to get there. Like obviously I am. Why am I so confused by my emotions? But yeah. I just thought I would come on and show you how I'm really feeling about it because it's weird. It's really weird. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna have a shower now. It's Friday night, so I'm gonna get into my pajamas and we just came up for a walk and stuff now. I've had such a bad headache because of today. I think I'm just very tired and very stressed now. It's also Friday and it's a bank holiday weekend now, so like I feel like we're just due a break. I haven't been off since well I'm not off I actually have one extra day this weekend but yeah I'm just like I need a break do you know but I also can't have a break because we have so much to do constantly but anyway no it's fine it'll be fine like why am I so stressed we don't have that much stuff and we've been slowly packing up stuff as we go like I literally don't know why I'm this stressed over it like we literally have a bed, a drawers, a washing machine and dryer. We're leaving all the stuff in the kitchen, like the oven and the fridge, we're just leaving them. Um our couch, that's like five or six things to move. Our TV, but we're not bringing the thing that it's on. Like, literally, it's like a day's work less. It's probably like one van load. Like, why am I so worried? I don't know and we can't do that to the last one anyway that's the job for next weekend and yeah I've been through my clothes I've sorted them out I just need to physically pack them to bring them up realistically during the week next week we'll do like I'm not I don't know why I'm so panicked <laughs> I literally don't know but anytime it kind of brings up anything about us moving or these day digit rings I just feel like a wave of anxiety like I'm just like avoiding it but I can't deal with the stress of it I don't know what it is I'm just like I can't. <laughs> I think like my plate's pretty full as well to be honest so like I don't have the time to pack like I've got a full-time job I've got <laughs> like not far off part-time job with like all of this with like social media and I've been putting that on the back burner and then obviously to like just maintain the house like do the food shop clean walk the dogs like keep up my exercise for my own mental and stuff like that like I don't have much time like obviously I could do it all night but like by the evening I'm just wrecked to be honest at the moment so yeah anyway 
Connor's off next week because it's midterm break so like he'll probably get loads done like I don't know why I'm so stressed <laughs> but anytime anything to do with moving is brought up I just feel like a wave of anxiety I can't I just can't deal with it at the moment I don't know what it is but yeah I always find change and stuff tough as well but it's really good change like I really want to move to Ireland so I think that's why I keep feeling like I shouldn't be feeling like this and I'm pushing it away but yeah and then yesterday I was driving home from work and I was like this could be the last time I'm driving home from work because like Con's off work next week so like chances are he'll <coughs> like be dropping me and moving stuff while he does it and stuff so I just felt a bit like oh and then this morning I was going for a walk around with Chloe and I was like oh I love it here but also I love it even more where we're moving to like that's why we're moving so I don't know why I'm been like this but I'm just in my feels at the moment but I was like this before the wedding as well I was nearly more emotional before the wedding than actually at it because I'd already like processed all my emotions so I think I just emotionally prepare myself I don't know hopefully anyway because if I'm any worse I'll be the straw but yeah I just need to have a chilled evening and we'll move some bits up tomorrow when we're going up to visit our family and stuff anyways and then yeah I'll try I don't need to do that much over the weekend like most of it has to be left now so I don't know why I'm like this so basically I'm trying to understand why I'm feeling so emotional but like I can't really get my head around it but like if I am that's fine I don't need like an explanation I don't know I'm just so tired <laughs> I'm gonna go have my shower now and stop being so miserable. <laughs> no, I'm not miserable. Well, I'm just, yeah, I just need to chill. <laughs> I don't know when I'll see you next, probably when I'm doing more packing. <laughs> Guys, I'm starting to clean out my clothes. These are for, well, I need to kind of try them on and decide. Mostly for Depop though, maybe charity shop, and then they're all definitely going the charity shop and um, I've sorted out my gym drawer like obviously I'm not going to be leaving them in the drawers anyways but still have at least a month and um, so yeah I need to go through my tops now next I'm dreading and then I have another chest of drawers in here that used to be cons but I slowly but surely just took over the full thing so I could start off with two drawers and then it was just being the full thing <laughs> he offered um, but yeah, so that's all sorted out now. I actually got rid of loads out of that. That's what most of this is. So I've only literally done those drawers and one drawer from in here. And then I still have my whole wardrobe as well to tackle. It's actually not that much stuff. They're mostly like coats and big items. So, oh, I dread. Excuse the state of me. We've also put up a good few um, bits on like Facebook Marketplace and adverts like furniture and stuff but like to be honest there's probably not anything I wouldn't sell so if you want to buy anything give me a shout I'm like well I put them on my home like I'm into that I don't know Bobby sorry like he gets hyper when I talk I don't know why he like thinks I'm talking to him or something but um yeah so excuse the absolute state of me I'm just finished working out and I just it's kind of starting to get a bit I'm getting a bit stressy about it so I felt like I need to do some clearing to make me feel better because we heard at the end of last week that um the people that are buying our house will be signing their contracts this week now we haven't heard yet but it's only tuesday um and then they said it'll be about four or five weeks after that until we exchange and they get the keys so and he's here now my lonely little cat aren't you yeah my new cat my two new cats for um, yeah, that's all the update I really have. No update on a house for us. We're working on getting a bigger mortgage at the moment. Um, so we already we got mortgage approval back in May. I remember I told you at the time, but we're hoping to get a bit more now. We've been speaking with our broker and stuff and they're quite hopeful. So fingers crossed because we did find a house we really liked, but it is quite pricey. So yeah, and there's been other ones up as well in my price range just now in the last month. Things have started to pick up, but I'm just, I feel like I'm just getting pickier and pickier now when it comes to it because I just know what we want now. I don't know. But anyway, it depends on 
our, mor our mortgage anyway so <laughs> i don't have much choice in the matter but anyway it's definitely coming soon so yeah sorry i just kind of get comfortable um yeah and i also have been thinking it's literally the start of october now it's october 3rd <laughs> today um and um it was the end of october when we went sailor green on this house that we live in now this is back in 2020 and then we had the keys like we literally got the keys on the 18th of december so they still hope for us to go sailor green this month which like i'm thinking it will be this month um and we moved in before Christmas, so that's not bad. <laughs> uh, it kind of depends. Some of the houses have people living in them, which I think could delay things because they may not want to move out. Like, we're willing to move in with parents and stuff to let the people buying our house um, move in. We're breaking the chain. Um, but people can't always do that. So, yeah, it might be longer. You never know, I suppose. But a few of them, the one we really want no one actually lives in at the moment so yeah anyway i just keep manifesting being in for christmas i'm like picturing us having christmas eve drinks i'm like please 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 but yeah i've definitely been a bit lately i've been really bad at updating you but yeah it's definitely a bit tough <laughs> it feels a bit like no this still feels like home but not in the same way it isn't 100% anymore it's kind of like when we're up in the area that we want I feel happy and excited and whatever I feel like I need to go there at least once a week and just walk around and um, but yeah no it's still okay here but it's not like I don't know it's just the in between I think I'm like I just want to be settled you know that feeling like I just know we're going soon so I'm like starting to feel like I need to start packing up and organizing stuff or whatever but Ellie Darby's moving house at the moment and I think they have like 10 days left and they are only really starting to pack up so yeah it's all the furniture and stuff though i'm like oh but i'm also like will we just sell all of it but then if we get this house with a bigger mortgage we'll have no money to buy anything when we move in so maybe we should keep what we have i'm torn <laughs> literally torn <laughs> but yeah i think that's all i have to update you on i could ramble for ages i'm gonna probably be a lot more um what's the word like <laughs> a lot more consistent now with catching up with you because hopefully more like things will be moving a bit more we went to see a house at the weekend actually that was lovely but the garden was really small so kind of it's putting me off um yeah no i need to just remember to update you more i'm really bad but i think there'll be more happening now over the next while so Woo. we just thought our dining table come someone just came and picked it up i'm delighted but they're actually trying to fit it in their car at the moment con's helping them take it down so i'm hoping they do take it and if it's in their car i think it will though it looks like it will um it was only the tiniest bit too small so it won't be grand so yeah that's good it's starting to feel empty in here i need to start selling more stuff now <laughs> also we heard yesterday thus the contracts were signed by the people buying your house so we should exchange in four weeks from today yeah no yeah it was yesterday it was today we heard so yeah four weeks from I think they do four weeks from Monday, so <laughs> basically a month. Today's the 6th of October, so the 6th of November is Monday, four weeks. So I'm scared. But we did put in a bid on a house a few days ago. We haven't heard back, which is kind of strange. I mean, it's better than just a straight no, but <laughs> um, yeah, so fingers crossed that will be sorted next week. We do have to go and apply for a big mortgage though. We should reapply because our six months is up and they're pretty confident we're going to get a bigger amount. So they told us to go through the breed, it's fine. Well, they said hopefully fine. So things are moving, but I'm also quite anxious about having to move in my parents for a few weeks in between. Moving our stuff has started. <laughs> Only even Bobby's so confused, like, what the fuck is this? Some of the plants are going up to Con's granny's house just so we've less to move. All my bloody clothes that I need to put on Depop and bring to the charity shop. Still haven't tackled my wardrobe yet, but I've done a bit more. I've gone through my knitwear and stuff and I've got rid of the hangers off the end of her bed because there's no point bringing that. It's not in good nick. And yeah, I tried to get rid of some stuff and like fit it in with these drawers or the rest of the stuff, even though these drawers aren't coming with me. But I'm going to definitely get like another wardrobe and stuff when I'm there. So I just need to go through what's in this there's still a lot of wedding stuff and whatever that i need to put up for sale so yeah 
<laughs> that'll be on my depop. Guys, we just found out this morning that we are so agreed on the house and I'm so excited about it. What was that? We found out at like five o'clock this morning. Our estate agent is away on holiday, so she replied at that time and Con's phone must have went off or something. He saw it anyway and then told me. And then the two of us were just like wide awake. Um but yeah, great news. Well, we were kind of going back and forth for the last day um or so, but they were really nice and they actually took such a like they really know the price for us, which is great because we wouldn't have been able to afford it otherwise honestly and um, so I'm delighted it feels like a dream but I'm also scared because we still have to um yeah obviously you can't relax until you've got the keys in your hand and the money's drawn down but my dark circles are very dark <laughs> very very dark and wrecked but great news <laughs> It's so bizarre seeing a stone sign. What the fuck? We came home last night and it was up. You don't have to leave for like three weeks. I hope. <laughs> but the new people just showed up. What would you actually do? I'd pull. Empty attic. Storing everything. It's actually not that bad at all. I thought it would be more full to be honest. Oh. Here we are again. Hello. <laughs> it's like 10 to 8 on. Saturday morning so we should be up by tomorrow basically so that's perfect <laughs> I'm just packing up all my shoes I cannot be arsed right now but it's okay we're getting there we're gonna be fine <laughs> I need to plan my outfit for a baby shower I have today and get clothes out for tomorrow and then let Con bring up the rest of my clothes <laughs> just <laughs> Couldn't be bothered to look at my hair. It stayed me. I just want to sit in the cage and watch the Kardashians. <laughs> anyway, I'll do a time lapse of the shoes. I already sent up all of my ones that I don't wear much. I'm going to just store them in the attic, but these are ones I wear often. But I'll probably still put most of the heels and stuff not in our bedroom up there because you already have the room. But I'm just going to send them all up and sort them out when I'm up there. My voice. <laughs> when I just wake up, it's like, hello. <laughs> These are Kia bags have been brilliant, but the clear bigger ones, you probably saw them in other videos, are even better. I fixed my camera member, I was telling it was the wrong shape. Well, I fixed it, so now I'm going to tackle these, I need to find another bag. Find me, my camera focus after like two years. <laughs> I was literally walking out of the whole room and still wouldn't focus. Since I fixed it, I probably fucked it up. <laughs> um, yeah, Con's friend's here to help with some of the bigger stuff that fits in his. He has like a Jeep thing, like a big Jeep. You know, there's like, it's almost like a pickup, but it's like covered. That's how I describe it. <laughs> um, so he's taking like some of the big garden furniture and stuff. So that's good. And we filled up my car and Con's car now with loads of stuff. So this room is now starting to get quite empty. There's stuff that I'm kind of figuring out what to wear today and tomorrow and stuff. Um, and we still have my clothes in my room. But we can kind of take them now because I've taken out what I need I think. But probably won't do that until later or tomorrow. But we'll have another run definitely tomorrow in our car and then we can also come back down again and all our parents are coming down so we can also give them stuff. They're coming down for a little farewell night so I'll have to remember to vlog some of that we'll just get food and stuff and chill <laughs> our couch might be gone though so I don't know where we're going to sit what we're going to do it's only a small couch anyway so not like all of us will be able to sit there anyways but um, yeah there's not that much this will obviously be going in the van tomorrow we'll have that van tomorrow as well 
that we can fit loads of stuff in. So to be honest, I think we're pretty much fine. Like downstairs, it's quite empty too. I'll show you now. Nothing out here. Everything in there is gone. There was like a mirror and pictures. There's a shoe rack out there that's gone. Excuse the mess. We've just been in and out in the rain and muck. Um, we're keeping the TV stand, I think, till tomorrow. We may as well. That was on a little table that's gone. Armchair, everything's gone from there. These are my stuff they're going in Con's car now. Our couch keeping till tomorrow, but like that's it. Shelves are staying. Um our kitchen, most of it just stays here. And <laughs> um, the presses are pretty much empty except for the ones with like mugs and glasses that we use like every day and the odd few sauces. There's barely anything in them. Like even our fridge and freezer hasn't got much in it at all. And they're like stuff for packaging. You know? <laughs> it's all like newspaper and stuff like that. And it's pretty pretty empty and um, I don't know why that is there I almost put there to wipe up the wet it's soaking rain outside so miserable unfortunately but yeah so really well we're tying the egg chair to his van he actually has a little van but he doesn't have his car that I thought he had can you see there <laughs> I can't just came up to our bedroom well what's gonna be our bedroom our bed is coming up tomorrow, which is our last day for moving out, obviously, so we're sleeping at home tonight for the last night. Um, but, yeah, I'll put it on 0 0.5 so you can see better, but obviously it looks bigger in 0 0.5, but there it is in one. All my drawers of clothes. And then, obviously, the bed will go in the middle and... That's pretty much it jam-packed, but to be fair, most stuff seems to fit, so it's not too bad at all. It's actually fine. I'm back from the baby shower, actually, that I was telling you about. Just wearing all black. <laughs> Kept it simple. I just, yeah, I don't I have my mind closed lately. I haven't had a minute. This is from Zara. This blazer, and it's such a nice fit. Oh my God, and there's all my clothes that actually pretty much fit in there. There's lots of it. Great. I do. <laughs> New whip. Wow. Yeah. Spacious. These. <laughs> it's so strange. Like, how many nights have we sat here watching the telly and this is the last time? <laughs> Our last night sleeping here in our first house. <laughs> our last time going to the shop. To the van. <laughs> Con's trying to figure out how to put diesel or petrol in at the moment. I can see him doing a whole lap of the van. He can't find where it goes. We have to move again to a different um, pump because it's on the other side of the car but there he is <laughs> he's oblivious okay we've got it when I say we I mean con <laughs> you have to google it and watch a video because we didn't know how to open the petrol pump honestly god um so yeah we're gonna go to Little now and get some bits for brunch our families are coming down to say goodbye to our house I don't really want to think about it. Everything, every single thing that we do now, I'm like, this is the last time. Like, I'm like, this is the last time I'm going to go to the shop. And we literally went to the shop every bloody day. If you live at home or if you live in your own home, you'll know every day there's something that you need. Um, and yeah, just everything that we do. That was our last time sleeping there. I don't know. I don't really want to think about it. I just keep on trying not to really think too much into it. I'm like, that was the last time. And then I try to shut off the thought because I'll be emotional. Yesterday I drove my car up for the first for the last time um from Wicklow. It's a half an hour drive, not really that big a deal, but like it's the last time I'll be driving up from our house ever. Um because we just have this van now that can't I'll be driving later. So I bowled the whole way. Bowled the whole way. <laughs> I am so emotional, such a soft, emotional person. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Anyway, the house is getting there. We're gonna load up stuff, leave the couch to last because then we'll actually have somewhere to sit when they come over. And um, Connor also packed up all the plates and glasses already. <laughs> he's the worst. So he's asking his mom to bring down some. 
He was like, it's fine, you don't need them. I was like, you, you can't not offer them one drink. Or, oh, now I'm thinking, do we have enough mugs? I fucking bet you he packed them. I'll kill him, I'll literally kill him. And the plates as well, he was like, they don't need plates. They can just eat a sandwich or something on its own. I was like, come on, like, no, you idiot. <laughs> Boys just don't. store so I'm gonna have to mop this just before we go but we still have to move from downstairs so I'll show you upstairs now and then I'll show you downstairs when it's completely empty it's so weird to see it empty <laughs> feels like a throwback to when we first moved in so this is the spare room I don't know what happened to the skirting board there but my wardrobe was there so we must have taken it off but anyway gone now so there's this little area that's the hot press all empty madness and then that's just some more storage up there but that's also empty i just double checked it for like the fifth time <laughs> and then this is the spare room sorry it's so hard to show and then there's like a little bathroom in here i'm just gonna leave that shelf that mirror was here when we got here um yeah and then plum for another shower in here but we never did that then this is our room and all the sweet yeah without the dogs here i keep thinking that oh wow it's so empty isn't it nice cons wardrobe that's actually a grand size room isn't it yeah it is it's a good shape like yeah it's good I actually could do with giving it a quick clean in here now. Here's the garden. So empty. So then I just need to wait for the drawer to be done to fill the stuff in that and then we'll be taking the washer and drawer as well. It's going to be a nightmare to get them out though because they're like blocked in. It's perfect. So we're just waiting to do a second. Okay. So obviously the TV and the couch has to go in the next load of the van, but, and this. But other than that, we weren't gonna take it, but I think we are gonna take them now. My dad's convinced us he doesn't want us to leave anything. The dishwasher's out and we hoovered in behind that. Obviously it needs to be disconnected properly, so we're leaving that until the guys come back. And then, yeah, that's how the kitchen's looking. Every single cupboard is empty. It's mad. And then we just got tea and coffee stuff there, because we'll probably have one before we go. That's a few last bits as well to go in the van. So just the dishwasher, washing machine, dryer, and couch, and shelves need to go in the van. That's it. That's it, except for these bags. They're coming with me. That's my work bag, and that's just loads of random stuff. <laughs> you don't even want to know. And the fridge and freezer are empty and everything, so. Yeah, literally empty. It's mad. Last one for you. I'm glad you had this ready. That's what I was thinking. But look at washing machine. Missed you. Ready? They're gone. 
hideous. I need to clean. Finally got the dishwasher out. All gone, all gone. But I'm happy about it now, I'm excited about it. Like. <laughs> Bye with love. <laughs> Room set up. Gorgeous. Not finished yet, obviously.